Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm Demon Trigger. I'm Tato. I'm, I'm not Tato. I'm Python 6 too. And last time we got a moldy bandage, so let's see what it does. That sounds absolutely freaking wonderful. Yeah. But apparently it was just what Funky needed. Yeah, a moldy bandage. Everyone needs a moldy bandage in their life. <laughs> And apparently well, yeah, he's he's causing sparks to erupt out from it. Out of, yeah, <laughs> he barely he made a hovercraft out of a moldy bandage. Well, who knew? <laughs> that oh, I've done that before. I do that all the time. That hardly seems like a safe practice for a water-going vessel. So yeah, the hovercraft goes over rocks, but we want to go get our uh, old motorboat back. Suddenly, the hovercraft being in Diddy Kong Racing makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I do like that they gave him dialogue for that. Yeah. That that was neat. Hmm. So yeah, pretty much the only thing that the hovercraft can do is go over rocks and move faster. It doesn't really mean much other than letting you explore the rest of the map. Yeah. Well, exploration is fun, I guess. Yeah. Are we playing another Simon game here? Yep. So how many of these are actually in the game? Um, uh, you mean the banana birds or the Simon puzzles? The Simon puzzles. Uh, I think there's like eight to ten. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I think. Well, that's not really that bad then. Yeah. So yeah, everybody voted for me to go to this place. I don't know why you would, but uh, whatever. Because people love suffering. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I suffering. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is so depressing, even if the music is depressing. Oh well, boy. see, he, he's blue. I mean, that, that explains it. Yep. Well, at least we get to start with the level. Ah, no. We gotta find more secrets. Dicking around for half an hour with Demon Trigger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think I'd have an, uh, any better way to spend my day. <laughs> There may be some gameplay in this video, I don't know. I honestly <laughs> think you're lying right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the map and uh, screw around for a half hour. Oh. Move between the same spots over and over again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh no, here we go. Except it's in fast motion, so you did it for who knows how long, and we're sitting here for like five minutes. <laughs> no, 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 it's not fast motion, it's jump cut. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> the most quality of editing tools. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, this is a pretty standard water level, the only real gimmick of any sort is those guys who just go from one hole to the other hole, and that's it. Well, men, sure do. men tend to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really much to this level. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Nope. Other than really fast ones sometimes, but, you know. Get bananas, avoid fish, don't drown. Objectives! <laughs> don't drown, monkeys don't need to breathe. Oh, I see. I, I must have missed that part of biology class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you see, they have, like, an extra air bladder or something, I don't know. No, 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 monkeys have gills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, well, th then they're sea monkeys. Yeah. That's where I do find... you think the term came from? <laughs> yeah, sea monkeys are not actually monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I find the lack of scientific, you know process disturbing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I, I, everything okay, I camera. tell you is true. By the way, oh. I'm a millionaire. Okay. Yeah. Can I borrow some money then? No. Oh. Aww. I want some money too. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a really boring ass level. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I mean, it's like the same trap that you've gone through 15 times already. Yeah, it's like, oh, now there's four of them in a row. What will you do? Next time there'll be five. Next time there'll be two fish coming out of the same hole. <gasps> I no, hear see, there's some dudes that are into that. <laughs> Hitboxes. How do they work? Oh, no, that time we had to go the opposite direction of the fish. Well, see, cause you're supposed to either tank the hit or you're supposed to go get something we haven't gotten yet. Uh. Anyway, we could play as on guard some more. So we can poke in some holes for fish. <laughs> the, the, this bonus game is literally go to the hole, mash Y, then go to the next one. Hmm. 
and, and then you're done. Scintillating gameplay. Yes. It gets me very hard, you see, Owen. <laughs> That's a little too much information. Yes. You're thinking t way too much about monkeys. <laughs> oh god. Well, at least you get to keep the animal, buddy. Yeah. See, the trick to it is, if we would have gone forward first, there would be a on guard barrel right here, and we turn into on guard and go the other way to get the bonus. Or you could just cheese hitboxes. Yeah. Whatever. Hmm. Oh no, it's slightly more narrow. What will you do? Oh wait, you can just kill them. Who cares? <laughs> also, the fat fish give you stuff when you kill them. Neat. Yeah. Oh no, three in a row. Oh, whatever. You killed the fish. Yep. You're a I'm a jerk. That's oh, hey, okay. look, right behind the goalpost, of course. And of course, this is this is going to be a theme for all water levels, is that there's going to be a coin guy at the end because they can't put him anywhere else. Yeah. Coin guys don't swim. Well, they could. They just choose not to. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have enough gills. Yep. <laughs> They're no sea monkey. Yeah. So yeah, big buff guys. Uh, Dixie cannot kill them. Because they are too big and buff. Hmm. But Kitty can, so... That's pretty much that's pretty much all that can be said about those guys. Yeah, there's really nothing to them other than you can just <laughs> do them with this character. Yep. Quality gameplay. Indeed. So yeah, the rocket barrels, they just go up and then they fire you. That's yeah. But I liked my job. Aw. <laughs> oh no, you might have to wait a while because the bee is not gonna be synced in the right way. This is an amazing trap. Yes. I, I can't believe they, they thought of that, because I would have never thought of that myself. Oh no, I want that one banana! Oh. Yeah, I gave you a silver coin out of it. Yep. Get out of here, traps. <laughs> oh, watch this pro banana collecting. <laughs> uh, uh! Extra life right on the barrel. Wow. Nice. So if you fuck that up the first time, do they come back? Uh, no they do not. You have to start the level over. Wonderful. Well... Although if you get here and then fuck it up, then they uh, respawn, I believe. Good. Alright, halfway point. Huzzah! We did it! We're almost out of this level. <laughs> Although this level's not so bad. Yeah. It's, it's far more interesting than the last one. Yeah. Yes. I was about to say. And I do like the little uh, going behind waterfalls thing. That is kind of clever. Yeah, but there were a couple water or there were a couple barrels that were behind waterfalls and you never went to them. I never understood that. I don't know. I think they just had like bananas or something. I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, two bees exactly a certain distance away. I guess who we get. A feathery asshole. Yep. So yeah, you gotta get him not killed because he gives you goodies. Hmm. Well, getting him not killed seems pretty much the same as you not getting killed because. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's impossible to get him hit if you're not getting hit, unless yeah. they start moving to the top one. Mm-hmm. Or I do stupid stuff like that. Yeah. Oh no! I can't kill these guys. What do I do? Jump over them. Well, yeah. Because I got the helicopter move that just cheeses everything. <sighs> this is a giant ass waterfall, though. Yep. <laughs> the tallest waterfall in history. Ooh, three extra lives. That I didn't need, because I have like 45 of them now. Hmm. <laughs> I think you need more. Hmm. Gotta max out that life counter. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you really haven't 100 percent of the game. Of course not. Gotta get that one star because it doesn't want to let me get those other stars. <clears throat> oh man, only 15 seconds. This I don't think be you tense. can do it. Oh my god, the timer's blinking and everything. Oh. 
So a lot of a lot of those bonuses ended up by anticlimactic. Is there any? They're, they're gonna get harder as we go on. Uh, I think so. I don't remember them getting that much harder. Oh yeah, this is a clever puzzle. You need you to restart this LP. You forgot that cheat. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, you uh, you have to throw it up so it goes slower so you can get behind them before the barrel hits them. That's uh, that's a little interesting, I guess. Yeah, better than some of the other ones we've seen. Well, let's go check on our duo grandma again. Oh. Hmm. hmm. You never know, she might mind. I mean, my grandma always got pissed when I saved my game at her house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a shame. Oh well. <laughs> we have nothing to say to her. <laughs> Not even gonna wake her up, whatever. Yeah, uh, whatever. See, the depressing thing is that right after this video, she went into a home. Oh. Yeah. Well, that explains why she isn't in Donkey Kong, why she died before Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. Also, look, cracked floors again. They only show up in these kind of levels. <laughs> they couldn't design cracked floors for any other level. <sighs> no, no, it, it's far too complicated to make a missing section of the floor. Yes, it's really difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would require effort. So yeah, we got these guys again, except they, uh, they're TNT, so if you touch them, you'll die. As, as opposed to before, where if you touch them, then you'd get candy? No, <laughs> the green ones from before literally cannot kill you. Uh. Which is completely silly. <laughs> also I like getting... my explanation better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want some candy. Better than collecting unripened bananas forever. Yeah. I think it's so bored, I just start dancing in place, because whatever. <laughs> you almost didn't make that one because you jumped <laughs> up to the top rope. Yeah. Stupid top rope getting in the way. Oh, yeah, I, just, I haven't. Oh, whoops. I hadn't mentioned before, but the water has a piranha in it, so you can't go in the water, or else it'll kill you. Like, immediately, or do you at least have a chance to get out? You have a slight chance to get out, but you probably won't because the prawn is fast as fuck, so. Oh, I see. <laughs> get out of your random walking guy. It's the one good thing about the Donkey Kong Country games from my experience with them is that they always give you enough opportunity to get your other person back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless you're playing in such a mode where they take away all those barrels. Right. So yeah, Dixie's <clears throat> helicopter thing basically cheeses everything about this level. Mm. If I haven't already mentioned it. It seems to cheese a lot of things about a lot of levels. Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah. The other one really just seems to be coming along for the ride. Oh, there's a tough enemy. Oh, there's a floor that needs to be cracked. That's about it. Yep. Oh, there's some water that you need to bounce off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they pretty much have to shoehorn him being useful in. I mean... Oh no, a bee! Now you can't fly all the way across him! Okay. Whatever. <laughs> they have to add gameplay limitations somehow, I guess. Mm-hmm. Makes it challenging, I guess. Oh, I wonder where the barrel is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that, they could have done that one. Um... Before that point, they could have put the barrel somewhere before that. Yeah. They didn't have to do it there. Not, e not even that, but the same general layout is the same as the first level where the guy was standing next to a pit. Yeah. So it was really <clears throat> dumb. Oh, we're back on the waterfall. Yeah, except it's a slightly different colored waterfall for whatever reason. <laughs> it it's a sludge waterfall. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Say so yeah, we got it's... tracker barrels, they track you. To a this, this waterfall is a social commentary on the state of technology. Mm -hmm. it's very so, so, so somewhere above this, uh, <laughs> somewhere above this waterfall is the Gulf oil spill. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> of course, got to fly back for a bonus barrel, and just out of sight. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that they put it in places that you'd have absolutely no reason to go to otherwise. Yep. Well, that's, also, that's pretty much how a lot of bonus stuff is hidden anyway, you know? Yeah. 
Like, hey, what if I jump off every pit and every level? And that's why I hate Donkey Kong Country 1. <laughs> Although you didn't need that 100%, and so it's whatever. You know, you don't get anything for 100%ing the first game. You get satisfaction. Yes. You get gamer cred. Yeah. Yes, you get 200. You get 200 gamer score. <laughs> you could redeem it for like a free taco or something. Oh man. What type? Uh. I may be okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so yeah, we got Ellie again, who can. You know, whoops. I need some water here. That's pretty neat. You can get it out of the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Ellie's actually heavy enough to stomp them, despite being buoyant enough to float on water. <laughs> I don't understand how that works, but okay. Well, I mean, floating has nothing to do with uh, with weight. It has to do with density. Hmm. I guess you're right. Maybe Ellie's just really fat. Yeah. I don't know. Also, I don't get to use my water here. This is lame. <laughs> but you don't really need it. Just... Well, I don't think that they were expecting you to have the animal buddy with you. Oh, yeah, I guess that's right. Well, they did put two bees in front of it, though, so I guess they might have expected you to tank the hit or something. Mm. I don't know. Game design. <laughs> that's what a lot of game design seems to be nowadays is... Alright, you have the ability to tank the hit. Why would you do anything else? Mm -hmm. Take damage to progress the game. As opposed cares to take about damage, time. save time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that they added an animation for the trunk going into the foreground. Yeah, that is nice. At least they, do, at least they don't skip on those little details. You know. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I've <laughs> always I'm facing the wrong way. I've always wanted an elephant trampoline. Uh, did I know uh, that I could just play Donkey Kong Country 3? <laughs> oh yeah, this is completely an asshole. Because you see the coin guy right there. Guess what you get for crossing this? Oh, uh, ho, ho. So yeah, if you fuck this up, you have to do the whole level over again in order to get that DK coin. Sneaky, And this sneaky. is how you do it. Game Design 101. Yeah, I really hate that. That's bad design, but... Otherwise, yeah, this level's pretty much over. Uh, up until the end there, it was going pretty well, and then... Coin Guy, like, what? Yeah. Now this is the level that a lot of people in the thread have been complaining about, because... This is really stupid level. So you got this guy with you, his name's Nibla, and he eats fish. If you don't, if you don't let him keep eating fish, he gets not happy. And if you get, and he also, if you eat, uh, those sea urchin things, he gets angry too. And if he gets really angry, he takes a bite out of you. Oh. Oh, so, so he's, he's like a built-in mood ring. Yes. <laughs> Basically, the entire idea is to go through the level without, uh... But unfortunately, it's probably hard, because as soon as he gets near anything, he automatically has to start eating it. So mm. it's hard to get him to not eat the, the urchin <laughs> things. <laughs> so basically, basically the best way to play it is just just do it as like a glorified timer, and just go as fast as you can. Uh, I mean, oh, this. Sorry. Uh, as I say, this bonus level is really retarded. And there's no reason for it. Huh? It's like, hey, look, it's a featureless room. Grab the bananas. Oh boy. Will this at least reset his color? Uh, I don't think so. I think his color stays the same, but it might keep it from switching because it goes down over time. Right. So it might reset that, but it won't reset his color. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's still, still reddish. Purple. He's still purple, yeah. You would think it would not be that hard to figure out. Don't eat spiky things. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's I not that smart. Yeah. I guess he's just really hungry or something. Really hungry all the time. <clears throat> He's like that mouse from uh, Tom and Jerry. References. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Also, he doesn't eat fast enough and I get hit. 
Fuck you, fish. <laughs> wow. And of course, they got a uh, <laughs> a fish refeeding point here. You oh know. yeah, that's the half point point of the level, right? Yep. So it makes sense that they give you a chance to refeed your fish. Yeah, because I'm guessing he just comes back automatically pissed off if you die. Uh, no, he's, he starts off at blue, I think, when you, uh, oh. when you restart the level, but... Then it really has absolutely no purpose. Yeah, other than if you're about to die at the checkpoint. It yeah. saves you from dying at the checkpoint. But, I mean, that really wouldn't make a difference anyways, because if you die at the checkpoint, then you come back and you have a fully happy fish again. Uh-huh. Yeah. This level is just really ridiculous and kind of dumb. Oh, well, I got hit, but we'll go back up and get that barrel. <laughs> and also eat the urchin for whatever reason. Damn fish. Because why not? You know, why not? Let's just... Mm -hmm. It's not bad to go and be adventurous sometimes. Yep. But it is bad to eat sea, ur sea urchins, so... Yeah, so <laughs> All you kids it. out there watching this LP at home, remember, do not eat sea urchins. Where did he... Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of disappeared for a second. <laughs> also, this is kind of an asshole. This one right here... You have to eat this one, because... Oh, come on, eat it. There we go. Because this one has the bonus barrel. What? Uh, yeah. Now for an actually interesting bonus game. You don't have to worry about him getting angry in this one, you just have to let him eat all the enemies. Oh. Which is actually kind of clever, I like it. Yeah. It's far more interesting than the last one. Yeah. Grab banana! <laughs> Grab banana, win game. Good job. <laughs> well done! <laughs> you did it, you grabbed the bananas with no danger. Mm -hmm. Also, that was... no fish anymore, I guess, huh? Yeah. Once we get to uh, the end of this level, there's gonna be a no fish sign. Which is <laughs> hey, that time he did actually change back. Yeah. He was red yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. I guess because it's the mini game or whatever. I guess. And this they give like... you a DK. <laughs> they give you a DK barrel there because you need both of you to get this guy. This hey is guy. Basically the same puzzle, only you had to jump instead. Yeah. As the, I mean, it's basically the same thing as the first level. Mm-hmm. Most all the coin puzzles are very similar. Oh no, those rocks are going away. It must be where we have to go. Good, because we don't have that hovercraft anymore. Yeah, it's it's parked outside. Can't bring it in here for some reason. No, of hmm. course. A hovercraft can't go on land. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so this uh thing embedded in the wall is squirt. It squirts water at you. Oh! Water. The water doesn't actually hurt you, it just pushes you off the cliff. Which of course will kill you, so... It doesn't hurt you, it just... <laughs> this it is just the least threatening <laughs> boss fight I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it doesn't hurt you, it just genesis you to the bottom of a really tall waterfall. You'll probably break all your legs or something. Mm, but yeah, all you have to do... <laughs> all you have to do is shoot it in the eyes. Uh, two hits in each eye, and then it'll... scream, and then it'll go to the next part. Where it moves slightly faster, and does it multiple times. Hmm. But yeah, he's very not a threat. <laughs> and he gives you a ski because. Oh, we're I don't going know. to a nice level next. Well, no, it's only one ski. <laughs> you, you can't ski with one ski. That's just stupid. Why no, no. What, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ski on a unicycle. We're gonna ride the unicycle and then go on the skis, and then we're gonna go down the hill, and that's gonna be fun. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Sounds like danger. Well, we'll see you next time for Mechanos, so. Bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye.